The HR department is the UK's largest franchise network of HR professionals. In a way, for us, exporting is sort of like what we've already done with franchising. When you go to franchise, you have to systemise your model, you have to put it down into a manual, you have to be able to package it up, give it to somebody else and for them to be able to run it. So we've already done that 60 plus times. So when we're looking at exporting that internationally, a lot of the hard work has been done. Now we've just got to find the right partners. Way back when we started franchising initially, the crucial factors were how do you protect the brand, how do you protect your IP, and how do you make sure that the people you are recruiting will live your values and look after your brand and really be partners in your success. Our top tips for any business looking to export would be firstly have the confidence. Secondly would be to research and research and research again. You can't learn enough before you start talking to other markets. The third thing would be just be aware that this is not a cheap process and if you cut corners it can be even more costly. So have the money to invest. We can prepare the contract for you. The point we're at with our export journey is with the Department for International Trade's help we identified Australia as our top priority for exporting. We completed a successful research trip in February and we've now got a number of interested parties to partner with us and I'm off again in October to try and seal the deal. When looking at new markets, we were really clear that we needed some set criteria and we had set questions that we wanted to have the answers to before deciding where to go. The Department for International Trade supported us with some desk research on a number of countries which then narrowed our field down and that then allowed us to do our own research to make sure that we were confident in the market that we were going to next.